everyone's opinion across the political spectrum on Woodrow Wilson. He increased American presence and imperialism abroad. He destroyed European monarchies. He brought income tax. And of course, incredibly racist. I was literally just asking not that long ago why unanimously people seem to not like this guy. Don't worry, I have my compass. Do you know where we are? I think we are lost. Looks down at the compass. We are in the monkey zone. We are going to get hoofed. There is nothing more terrifying than being in the monkey zone. Monkeys can learn to use money. Scientists taught this type of monkey to exchange silver discs for treats. A few weeks into the experiment, the monkeys began budgeting for foods they liked. They started buying food when the price dropped and even started gambling. Eventually, rich monkeys figured out that they could pay each other for... <laughs> I can see how some people would not like this. Hey Shrek, what are we gonna do when we get our swamp? Our swamp, says Shrek Soyjack. That was a pretty Chad move by Donkey, I have to admit. All right, get in the helicopter, Kami. You having fun, buddy? Get a load of that view. <laughs> I heart communism and lib right. Never trust someone when they say they're gonna give you a free helicopter ride, especially if they happen to be from Chile. Margaret Thatcher has escaped the underworld. Seems like most people would be terrified. The sentence definitely induces a lot of emotions, that's for sure. I would like to formally apologize to the US and other allied countries for the crimes I committed during, okay, Japan, I, I see where you're going with this. China and the Korean Peninsula are like, what about us? No regrets. Kind of all depends on who you are if you're gonna get a Japanese apology, I guess. I would never be a simp, but at the same time, at your service, my queen. This actually just makes me think that Belle Delphine's gonna look like Queen Elizabeth when she's older. Now that is how you'd get me to become a subscriber on OnlyFans. Man, I wish I lived in a primitivist commune where I had to sleep in a tent and do hard labor every day. I would totally be able to do that. All while I'm gaming in my $3 million mansion. I kind of feel like this is me low-key though. Yeah, I could be a hunter and gatherer, even though I don't even know how to cook spaghetti. The battle begins. What these consoles say about you on the political compass. PlayStation is clearly authoritarian left. Project X is definitely authright. What the hell even is that? Nintendo 64 is libright? And the Dreamcast, can it be stopped? What's crazy is this magazine was probably published, oh yeah, way before. Political Compass wasn't a thing till 2004. This was actually the start of all of it. The different sides of these ancient empires. Sparta's up here because they have a small group of old men who rule everything. Everything's owned by the state and there's also no money. Macedon forged a legendary empire, brought peace through force, and had some really cool elite soldiers. And there's Athens. Only rich people have power there. Did recent things with ch- Oh no. Had money. Then there's Thebes, most famous for a unit with 300 Okay, okay, Mo moving on, moving on. The fact that homeowners association exists is wild to me. You buy an entire house and some lady a couple doors down can tell you that you're not allowed to display your antique frog statue and you have to pay a fine? Insane. I don't own a house, but I've been recently looking into that. I didn't even know what HOAs was until like a week ago and I'm like pissed. Like it seriously can be in some areas an extra $400 a month. Librite normally. I should be able to do whatever I want when I want. I love freedom. Lib right when they see me doing freedom. You can't do that here. There are kids in the library. Oh. I can't even, okay, we can't even talk about this part. Yeah, gotta stay consistent, that's for sure. Target audience versus actual audience. They think they're gonna get people like this, but in reality, I guess it's more like this. Authright thinks their people look like this, but in reality, ooh woo. Lib left, this versus, okay, Furries. All right, I knew that was gonna come. Libright assumes everyone looks like Wolf on Wall Street, but in reality, they are teenagers. Okay, yeah, that, I, I can, I've seen that before, actually, firsthand. The only consistent one, though, the monkey zone. What they think these people look like versus, yeah, they're actually just out there in the forest building their house. Gotta give them credit for that consistency. China strictly restricts gaming time to three hours a week for minors. Gaming time slashed. Cries. This is actually pretty depressing. When you destroy your reputation in the West to appease the Chinese only for China to limit your audience, you can't do this to me. Do you know how much I've sacrificed? Poor Activision and Blizzard. I hope someone's watching them right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're feeling self-destructive. My 17-year-old brother's school did a mock election, and one of the kids ran as the Communist Party as a joke, and the school made them stop because they were winning. Had to step in. Can't have none of that. I'm sure if the school would have let him, there'd also been a couple mad lads that would have done another party in a different aspect. I say keep hands off and just let them fight. Once again, looking at someone's compass. Wow, Authorite society is pretty chill. Yeah. Oh no, this robot is analyzing them. Course of action. They must be oofed. Okay, yeah, maybe they should take that back. Maybe it's not so chill after all. Phone bad. Go outside. Frick you, mom and dad. Ten years later. <laughs> Phone bad. Go outside. If only we would have listened in the first place. <laughs>
Ted Kaczynski. The four horsemen of profile pictures. Regular USSR logo, hat and sunglasses guy, Wall Street bets icon, and then this. Where does everyone get these from? Where do you make these? I've always wondered. I don't know where everyone has these. I'm like so left out. Everyone's favorite year in the political compass. Lib left likes 2015. Authoritarian left likes 1917. I'm assuming that's the USSR. That's when that all started. Up here at the very top is 1933. A similar place first started around that time, which was definitely not the USSR. Then we have year one for these guys in the blue. I don't know what happened in 1991, deregulation or something. And I'm going to assume 1954 is the centrist's favorite year because that's when grills started getting rolled out. I'm just trying to grill, damn it. Everyone's opinion on it, Teddy Roosevelt. He was a trust buster and ensured the economy was fairly regulated. He loved his country and served in the army. He was a staunch one of these enthusiasts and he ensured that the forest and wildlife stay safe in national parks. Weird, because Woodrow Wilson didn't even come that far after this dude. What a drastic shift. Me, when I see the prices at the farmer's market, that'll definitely throw your entire world out of whack. Yeah, I want to pay $10 for eggs. A 22-year-old Canadian man named John McHugh took it upon himself to fill potholes in his hometown. His sign read, I filled the potholes. Pay me instead of your taxes. Drivers gave him cash, coffee, and jo Wow. I'm going to have to try this one day. Got to figure out how to fill potholes, though, first. I don't like my wife's boy. Boyfriend. <laughs> Just that statement alone. Do I even need to say any more? My wife and I are new to Paula Ammer. What is this? At first, her boyfriend seems like a nice guy. They've known each other for a long time. When she's chatting with other new guys from dating apps, I'm excited to hear how it's going. I don't even know if I can read the rest of this. Let's just move on. So you really think your free software can beat software created by giant megacorps? Yes. I'm literally using Audacity right now. I've always used Audacity. Now, okay, now this is base, though, for reals. Our system sucks in certain ways. I don't know where this mofo starts running in. That's why we need com- <laughs> I guess this side is not a fan. That's how they respond. Funny colors, political compass. Finish your set, bro. If only we listened to this guy. We could all be alphas. Total Croatian news. Oh, dear. Croatian coat of arms slips from frame. Reveals image of- Dang it, Croatia, not again. It's not the greatest look. Me reading every book written by Marx so I can be a better capitalist. Wait, did he write more than one book? I only know about the one. At least 16? I didn't know about this. At first I googled how many books did Marx read. Still the same answer, at least 16. Does this mean he was only reading the ones that he actually wrote? Wow, that was one angry monkey. Oh, these two, back out of the portal. Hmm, we are in the auth zone now. Wait, weren't they in the auth zone before? I guess Hilter won WW. Too, but why furries? It was the only way for them to win Stalingrad in the cold. <laughs> if only they resorted to the furries. That was the one thing Nono Germany was missing, I guess. If the compass was turned into a fighting video game, we have orange lib left. Or this girl right down here. Her idle stance versus her dash stance. Her action spew, which is weaponize your social media opinions. When enhanced, spew does additional poison damage. Privilege check is her main kick, which can also be enhanced. Language control, which is the command grab, temporarily prevents opponents from using special Specials if enhanced. Screenshot counter. Uh oh. It utilizes your opponent's attacks against them. Fills up meter when successfully hitting. And the super move sends an angry mob to attack opponents. If they are hit, orange will initiate a barrage of attacks dealing significant damage. I actually want to see this game now. It seems like we're really thinking this out. Comrade, why the frick are you not at the factory? Comrade, I, I thought I would be able to play video games all day after the revolution. <laughs> your three hours are up, bro. Guys, what's your least favorite country? No, you can't say France or England. This side, of course, is the USA. This side, Mexico. This side, China. And then all of them, I despise every country. Break the idea of nation states, yes. Now, what would happen if we could include France and England? Would it all just be France and England? You choose Republican or Democrat? No, the bipartisan system is destroying our democracy. While in France, for this election, you can vote for 14 different parties. I despise every single one of them. That concept is so ludicrous to me. Like, other countries have so many different parties. Then you can despise them all? If you're a grill daddy, I guess. Her, he's probably thinking about about other women but he's actually just thinking about if someone owns a piece of land do they own it all the way to the center of the earth do i own a part of the earth's core i'm gonna start digging right now to find out space operas on the political compass we've got star trek over here warhammer 40,000 over this way futurama here and star wars now wait a second i remember very specifically there was a scene where a sister and a brother kind of get a little weird wouldn't that be more towards this side or something everyone's favorite teddy they're all different 
but at the same time, all very similar in certain ways. Wish I could build this one at Build-A-Bear. I've never built a bear before, but I've always wanted to. Is 1984 in the room with us right now? There is no other side of the compass that is more terrified of this book than these guys. They're always looking around rooms just to see if they can find it. It made me do the bad things. We have a perfect summary of what's going on in the US. These middle guys are just trying to play some Mario Party and chill. Mario Party and chill actually sounds pretty nice. Welcome to heaven. Let me just look at your file. Wow, no bad deeds. Wait, no good deeds either. What did you do all your life? He was just grilling and playing Mario Party. He didn't feel too strongly about anything, no matter what. Guess that got him in or something. Oh, I will never forget this scene. It all comes down to this one penalty kick. Can the young woman break the glass ceiling and prove once and for all that females can be just as good an athlete as a male? You know, Amy, sometimes someone calls attention to breaking the... Uh, I don't think I need to read this. This is... Everyone knows what he says. I will never forget this, though. That Sonic show is wild. Average individualist cells versus average collectivist cells. Off left showing off in the body. All of us on the inside, our guests are red. Lib center lore. Society bad. Banana good. Bottom text. Off center lore. Yeah, they have a whole, like, system in place for that. That's a deep dive. That's That goes pretty deep. Britain then, the sun never sets on the British Empire. Britain now. Oi, bruv, you have license for that opinion? I'm gonna have to arrest you now, chat. Nothing personal. I was gonna do the accent the whole time, but I cannot do it the whole time. I wish I could. Oh, we have an update. Our system sucks in certain ways. That's why we need- oh, no, not this guy's coming now, too. Oh, same thing, I guess, happened. Is this guy gonna be in the, uh, fighting game that they were talking about earlier? Seems kinda OP. In the 1930s, two psychologists adopted a baby chimp and tried to raise her as their child, alongside their real infant son, Donald, to see if they could cause the chimp to learn human behavior. They stopped the experiment after nine months because their son actually started behaving more like a chimp. Reject humanity, return to monkey. So that's all we have to do. These guys actually have a plan now. And thank you to the patrons. Drew is a sussy bucka, changed my mind. I'm about a nut. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Luxembourg lover. Poppy Drew Wu. A Polish Wyoming 2021. Aaron F. Aryan after hours. Alfonso M6. Bornski W. Bring back Poland Bowl. Dalton D. Elijah Senpai. Full Sin Nick. Mine Brothers 99X2. Multiplayer sign. Peter T. Popcorn 2008, Nick Blore, Stormtrooper 501, Patrick C. Thank you.